Hello everybody, welcome back to Oscar Studios. My name is Maranatha and as usual here we talk about all things Nollywood. Nollywood movies, Nollywood series. If that's your cup of tea or if that's something that you enjoy, this is the place to be. <laughs> Alright, today I'm going to go straight into it. I'm so excited. I'm here to talk about two movies, no, one movie and one series that came out this past week or two weeks, in two weeks. One came out just last week and the other one came out a week ago. And I'm sure you know what I'm going to be talking about. It's in the, if you've seen the description of what I'm talking about today, you know that I'm talking about the black book and she must be obeyed. She must be obeyed. My name is Shiambola. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So we're going to be talking about the black book. The Black Book came out on the 22nd of September, I believe. And it came out on Netflix. It starred RMD, Dana Lagre, Ade Laoye, Patrick Doyle, Alexis Sifo. Um, what's that man's name? Uh, Sam Dede, Olumide Owaru. A plethora. Is it plethora? Is that the right thing? I don't know if that's the right English. Like it's that there a lot of people. There were lots of amazing people in the movie. And you know, it was a the synopsis was I focused on like a man, a deacon. There's the spoilers. The truth is that I believe that if I would I give you time to watch it now. So I believe that some of you are um, people have watched it. So I have spoilers in this one. If you don't want spoilers. Maybe you should skip. Don't skip, please. Don't skip. Watch it. My spoilers will not be too bad. Anyway, so the story was focusing on a deacon that, you know, that his child was murdered. His child was murdered, and after his child was murdered, he, like, he was seeking justice, vengeance, or whatever. At first, he didn't want to do anything, but he was just trying to expose the people that murdered his child because his child, um, police lied on his child they used him to cover up for somebody so he was just trying to get justice for his son and when he was trying he saw that he found the people that killed his son the people that did the bad thing but nobody was still taking action so he now went on his spree to get everybody to justice that's like the storyline now let's talk about the movie itself and how i felt about it i personally liked it i really did i liked the i liked the cast the casting you know many times when they do like a um, star studded cast to be honest, like, no, no, no. They used to be <laughs> sometimes they just used to misuse them but this is one of the ones that i think that they actually to me Sha, i liked it i like the cast i think everybody owned their own my favorite cast members i know people had different thoughts were rmd and they're not like great i liked the, the role that Daniela played, I really liked it. It was like a silent, it was a fumigator. I think that's what it was. And I just liked it, how he would dress up to go and kill people. I loved his role. I liked RMD. I just liked the fact that he was always in like a pensive mood. Like, they didn't make him overly like like heroic like larger than life type of hero no they didn't make it to, at least to me oh, they didn't make the fight scene seem so because sometimes and i just be trying to do fight scenes and it's just like we know that that's not our forte just do our regular thing don't make us to be doing john wick well this was the vibe of like the storyline but i didn't feel like the action was too serious like that of a uh, and um, John Wick and all of that. I really liked it. I like the cast. I like RM. I like the cinematography. Come and see area view now. Come and see area shots. I say ah. <laughs> I was like ah. These angles they are giving. Oh my Leo, is a lot. I I really enjoyed the angles of this film. There were high shots, low shots, medium. Everything was just making sense. I really liked it. Then I, I think another thing I liked was that I think the people that shot the guns, I think they were trained. Because the lady that was on the mountain shooting, I, this thing, I don't know if they can CGI that type of thing. Because guns, like bullets, were actually falling out of the gun. And I was like, come on now. 
I think that was very well done. I think maybe they had training or something. Whoever did that aspect did very well. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked the storyline. It's a very... It's, it can give PTSD. It, and I heard like some people were saying that it's a very close to home story. Because it still happens. It's focusing on corruption. Some people just feel like they are the ones that... Like... These earths or the money of Nigeria, or I don't know, they just feel like it belongs to them. And if you question it, they can't like they are so mad. How dare you question that I want to step on your neck? That kind of behavior is I don't know. It was very when I was watching, it was very, very unsettling. Especially the scene where they killed RMD's son. Oh my god, it was very, very heartbreaking for me. I felt some type of way. So yeah. So it's it, the story that was very good because it really hit home for a bunch of people so it's very close to home and i like the way the story was told it was to me it was not overly exaggerated to me it was because there's some stories that just come on we know what you're talking about I hate the nail on the head let us move on and i don't think there were too many lapses in this movie where um like where we have like empty spaces there were there were a few places that i felt mm, it was a drag but it was not so much and there were no too many subplots Cause that's one thing with Nigerian movies. Before sometimes, eh, you will now start to say, "Okay, who is this person again? Now, why is this woolliness? Is usefulness to the film? It wasn't like that." So I think it was good. What didn't I like? There were a few CGI. You no, know, a few. It was see. It's just if you are being it speaking. I feel like if I watch the movie again, maybe I will find all the loopholes. But I watched it once, and I like to watch my movies once before I review, so that I can just give it my first take because by the time i watch it again then i have this so mm, I'm, i watch it more with a critical eye and like i said i don't like critic i just like to rant about movies all right so all in all i think black book was a very good movie and i highly recommend you check it out i like it i think it was one of the action movies for me that from nigeria well they've done a lot of good action movies this year like the trade brotherhood gangs of little oh well, this year it means Nigerian action, you know, scene is getting better and better. So kudos to them. To me, I'll give this movie like a strong 8.5 over 10. I really liked it. And I highly recommend that you check it out. Yes, it's very good. It's very good. And I think one other thing I didn't really like about the movie, I, I feel like, or I felt like, they should have kept RMD to be more... What's the word I'm looking for now? like not talk too much i don't know that's just my personal opinion you know all those action stars that like don't talk too much like their action speaks louder than words do you respect those stars that's how i feel it should have been but it was still okay that's just me being very particular you know those people that don't talk but you just know that when they come i think there were times they started to he was not talking i was like daddy shh. just show them just show them and that was the character that Denola played. Denola was a silent killer. He would just come, toos, toos, toos. He doesn't talk. He would, he would just kill the people. Also, I don't like the way they just killed Denola's character. I felt like, so I'm able to put up a fight. Well, I don't know. I don't know why they ended him like that. But all in all, like I said, it was a good watch. This character, like, I like the way he was always in a mood. Like, the way his face, I just loved it. It's RMD. Is grandpa of industry, so like I don't know, you can't expect any less from him. I think Adel Laoye also you know, played a part well. I liked the fact that the fight was between people in the same age range, so Sam Dede, RMD, Shafi Bello. I just liked the way they placed them in the same age bracket. Then Alex C4 too was with his own age bracket, then Patrick Doyle. I just liked the way. I just really, <laughs> I'm even not talking all around. I just really liked the way the, it's like there was this kind of segregation between them. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But I liked it and I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, what did I like again? I, oh, no, like I said, it was a good watch and I highly recommend you check it out. This is on Netflix. I think it was written and produced also by Edith F. Young. And this is like the second thing I'm seeing from him. And I really like this one. The other one, I don't know. I don't think he produced. I think he just was part, is part of the production company that owns the people that produced. I'm not very sure. It was Up North. And I don't like Up North like that. But I really liked this 
um the month black book so check it out so the other one i'll be talking about is she she must be obeyed ah! by my face you can already tell how i feel about she must be obeyed so she must be obeyed is an amazon or uh, exclusive i think produced by funke akindele this movie focuses on a a star a, <laughs> a music star that thinks that she's the only one or she should be the only one existing she should be the only one no joke man, that should be reigning every other but every other person should not mm -mm. only her only her that's basically the synopsis of this series and this is a series it spans five episodes on amazon prime and i think it was like the range the first episode was like 66 minutes or thereabouts and i think i don't know if there's anyone that's less than 45 minutes any episode that's less than 45 minutes i don't know i'm not very sure don't quote me on this i'm not very sure but like it's enough it's enough every episode is enough for you to chew on it has a substantial amount of um time running time now what i like about this movie the first let's start from the opening the opening um, um song the opening is it concert now call it or the opening show the first scene was where funky akindele sang the song is oti ha oti oti and I, nah, 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 nah. ah, you see the the melody is stuck in my brain. <laughs> I loved the first musical number. I loved it. I loved it so much. I watched it three times. Just this song. I watched it three times. That's how much I loved it. I feel like it was executed perfectly. I've shown everybody. Well, not perfectly. Perfectly is a stretch. It was executed well. You could tell the budget, like. <sighs> the core let me not be too forward but that's the first thing that i liked about the movie next thing i liked about the movie was the cast god funke please i bought you funke stuff and i know i say like something i'm like mm, it's okay it's okay but funke played her role in this movie like she ate it like mm, 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 mm. i'm like ah, ah. mama no 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 i loved her then my second favorite person in this movie was aka aka's character was cisco oh my god i feel like aka loved 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 the role that he played in this movie because like he ate every single scene that he was in he ate like he ate it. like i loved it so much my third favorite was uh, ruka which was lizzie Lizzie, I forget her son name. Lizzie's character, Lizzie J. She was a she's a comedian. Her character, she was saying Rambadot. <laughs> I loved her character. I loved everybody's character. I loved I did Dimeji Latif, Nancy Sime, um Rachel Lukonkwa, Mike Zero. Yeah, I love Mike Zero's character too. I love them um, Zokwa. You know, there were a bunch of people in this movie. This is another one that was star studded, but it was not a mistake. I feel like they were hand picked for their roles. It was it was too good to me. It was too good. The casting was too good. There's some casting that you'd be like, this one. Like, why is this person here? But everybody made sense and they they knew what they were doing. They killed their character. I just really liked it. Then what else did I like? I love the storyline. Let me say let me say something. I might be I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But to me, I feel like Funke Akindele does series better. I don't know. You say, what evidence do I have of this? Number one evidence is um, Jennifer's Diaries. Jennifer's Diaries has been running for Boyana 30 seasons now. I don't know. It has been running for almost 30 seasons now. I don't know. But the thing is that anytime you pick up Jennifer's Diary, even whatever episode that you watch, you will enjoy it. And I feel like she, that prowess she brought it to this movie as well, and um, to this series she must be obeyed. It was continuous and it made sense. To be honest, when I started watching, I watched the first episode, I was so confused. I wanted to turn it off because I don't know what was happening. But that is the thing; you just have to hold on. If you watch the first episode of this now, you don't understand what's happening. Don't be discouraged. 
don't be discouraged I, I i promise you just keep watching you will enjoy it like from episode two you are like mm, it makes sense it makes sense like that's how you just start to feel you'll be like mm, yeah 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 two plus two will start becoming four but if you watch only that episode one, you'll be like who be this one again who be this one like they were just introducing a bunch of people and i was like ah what was happening but from episode two i said to understand what was happening and it was so good i feel like the storyline of this she must be good was too good and so it was very good like ah i really liked it i really to be honest this is like one of my favorite things that funky akindele has ever done i can't lie to you all that things they're okay they're okay because funky is still acting so she'll carry it but they're okay but this one funky like i feel like if they give give another it's good that Funke was lead role because she did it very well. But I feel like even if they gave it to another person that can act very well, this series will have still made so much sense. Like everybody did their part and they played their part very well. I really, 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 really liked this show. My roommates watching with me, even my brother does not like Nigerian movies. I made him sit down and we all watched and we all enjoyed it. The third thing I enjoyed about this movie was the musical numbers. Oh my God. Like it was produced well, one. Number two, I feel like they did rehearsal. Everybody rehearsed with the dancers, the person that was singing, like the lip sync. I know that even though they were trying to tell us that they were lip syncing, the lips was going with the music. There were a few times that it was not, but I can I can still give the pass mark. It was just too good, especially to me that Funke's first number and Wajay's song. Oh. I loved it. I loved it. The musical numbers were well done. You know that they spent money. The dancers were on point. Funke lent the steps with the dancers. It was like a real concert. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I believe that if Nigerians are ready, and I know that budget also has a part to play, but I know that sometimes I just feel like Nigerian producers, directors, they just sometimes they're in a rush. That's what I believe because it can be done all of these things can be done it can be done let me it's okay i'm not here to criticize anybody but I, this movie was see it was a very it was very very well done to me uh as the prosthetic cabin or whatever vfx that they used on funke was good there was a time that i was like mm, but for the most part, it was good. The whole part that it was giving skin, the different texture, I just really liked it. I just knew that, like, it was very, very thought. It was like there was so much thought behind the character, and behind how they wanted it to look. The different people, there was so much thought behind their outfit. I just, I just knew that it was a well thought out thing. I don't know how to explain it. I just knew that somebody was thinking, Sha, when they were doing this thing, and. If the budget, I don't know how much it was, but I know that it was very, it was used very well. So I would highly recommend you go check out this movie. The acting was done well, the casting well, storyline good. What do I like? What What are the things I really enjoyed? If I enjoyed, like I said, I enjoyed the acting. I enjoyed the comedy. Oh, it was very funny. Like this movie had moments where I actually laughed out loud. Like I laughed, I laughed <laughs> that type of laugh. I laughed like that. I enjoyed the fights between Aka and Bayo. I think one of my favorite lines from there was when the Bayo said he was going to slap Aka. And then there's another place where Ime Bishop, Ime Bishop was the chef, was Jennifer's character's chef. And he says, he said that what is the difference between him and somebody no show did that they kidnapped because that one <laughs> they were working and they were not paying their salary they were just little little like sentences or chats or phrases like that were so funny yeah so there were so many so many funny scenes it was fun it was like laugh out loud funny it was not just and i like the fact that uh, fungus character was not just was not just funny 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 she was serious fungus character was mean I was like, what? Like her meanness was getting to me. She was so mean, but it means that she executed because I hated her character. But it means that she executed it very well. V V I or V E A, I don't know how she pronounced that. I'm so sorry. 
V was one of V from Big Brother was one of the people was one of the cast in this movie too. I mean like V <laughs> she read her lines and she made sure she said everything in her lines. <laughs> at first I was like mm -mm, I was feeling at first I was feeling like her acting was exaggerated. But I don't think it was. I think that's just how she is. Because going because she was able to maintain the same way from the beginning to the end. So I don't think she was I just think that's how she acts. And it was pretty good because I felt like eventually towards the end I felt like she, it was real because even if you look at her in interviews or when she's talking, that's how she talks. So I felt like it was actually real. So I think everybody did their part. I liked Wadjie's character too. Very mean, very jealous, very angry. It was all good. What didn't I like in this movie? What didn't I like? This is a one, the episode one. That one of these I like, or the episode one. Like if if you're someone that does not have patience, that episode one, you can off the TV because I didn't really get what was happening. So I feel like they introduced the characters, but it's not it's not bad it's not like to me eventually when i because i finished it it was not a it was not a negative eventually it was not a negative to the movie it's just that like episode one was quite long so if you don't really know what's happening for that length sometimes it might dissuade you from keeping from continuing but it's not really a it's not really a, a con of the movie what did i like again to be honest there's not much that i didn't like about the movie there's not much that I do like about the series, rather. There's not much. Uh, maybe a little bit of over-exaggerated acting or scenes here and there, but that's just been me, me being nitpicky, to be honest. I don't know. Like, there's really not too much. I'm trying to think. What did I like? What did I like? In the movie, I don't think, I don't think there's really... It was a pretty good series, and I think you should check that. I highly, highly, highly recommend you watch it especially like if there are lessons to learn from it and if you don't have to learn anything that's also good if you just want to watch it for fun that's beautiful i you know later like in like episode three or episode four we said to know why funke's character was the way she was and all that good stuff but to me it was it was a pretty good watch i really like it and i highly recommend you check it out so she must be obeyed it's on amazon prime if you don't have amazon you can just do seven days after seven days <laughs> you are subscribed all right thank you so much for watching let me know what your, what your thoughts are about these two movies did you like it did you enjoy it do you have a different opinion for me let me know in the comment section please like share subscribe comment tell a friend to tell a friend that oscar b is the place to be and i'll see you in my next one bye